Welcome to another edition of Women Lead TV. I'm Michelle Berquist, your host today, and with me, co-founder on so many things, but one of them for me very specifically is Deanna Potter, is the co-founder of Sue Talks, and she has something else she does that she does every single day. And Deanna Potter is the strategic communications manager of the Center for Organization Effectiveness. And that- Good job, say, that's a, a mouthful. mouthful. <laughs> Lord, could you have a title that's crazier. So I'm dying to know what the whole center does, because I think training and development is that, the scope of it or kind of share all the different things that you do well, yeah we've been co-founder out for right now. yes and i know what you really i know even a year and a half ago when i went what you wanted to know is what it took for them to get me yeah. well I, no, yeah. you negotiated your way there, i did i, I they, did they made a position for you correct yeah i, I mean yeah. well first of all i know well and i have to <clears> tell <throat> you that they are the, first off i work with the best team and i have this awesome boss and you know what is cool. wonder yeah very cool and what is wonderful about the center and I think what the best part of what we do is is that our niche is the public sector mm. and uh, describe describe that public so, sector so is. this is what I encourage you to do the public sector are those wonderful people that keep our country running they are everything they are the civil servants that are out there every day that I just feel like so sadly get the worst rap <laughs> I mean when you drive down the road I want you to point to everything the city offices yeah the cities counties. the counties the councils the water districts the people who make your street lights run and make sure your roads are paved and that your water's they running and heroes. yeah yeah you know and it's it's um, and the the way in which these the things we think about our government employees and the things we joke around about our government employees it just it breaks my heart it really, it really does even with the whole DMV thing yeah okay and mind you those of you who know me know my husband works for the DMV and you all just got a picture in your head I hit a nerve. yes <laughs> my husband's an investigator with the DMV see people don't know that they have law enforcement okay go back to you okay back so to me I'm sorry I'm talking about everybody else yeah. so let's back up play. so the center um, the, it's my job to keep us focused yes thank so you very know. much okay, I know but that's what makes this fun to watch that's is right. because you know we're a little you have no focus I have focus actually I have great focus oh, okay yeah, well, it's not, we'll talk about that in a separate conversation right, of course. so back to the center um, the center we um, are a firm that actually works with the public sector and we specialize in the development development of leaders and organizations. So uh, we work with everything, as I mentioned, from cities and counties, mm -hmm. and we also work in public sector agencies like uh, medical organizations and universities. That's new, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, so we have a bunch of clients throughout the state of California, and those clients may have long-term contracts with us, and we'll do multiple projects with them. We actually are a small little core team. Mm -hmm. There's approximately four of us, five of us actually. We brought somebody on recently in the last six months that was our intern who's now a, oh, a new person cool. with us. And um, in addition to our core team, we have a wide variety of subject matter experts, our consultants that we utilize that will help support these clients. And the clients are about, about 150 or so that have been with us on one year to five year contracts. Did you feel me having a thought there? You did. I, I really, I want to go there because I'm like, walk me through like a day with you. I mean, what do you, do you interact, interact mostly, with, mostly with remotely, mostly with the consultants? Do you deal, do you train and speak and talk? I mean, what's your day yes, like? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. So, so give us um, some normal, or is there a normal there day? There is no normal the day. Thing. There is no. Right. So um, I like to explain to people that my position has three positions in it. Okay. So part of my job is strategic projects. So when I came on board, um, they had built in the strategic plan a lot of good projects that, although there was a lot of good intention, there wasn't a lot of capacity. So mm -hmm. I came in and was able to fill that role. Mm -hmm. So I'll do things like website design. I brought in, helped them launch a new uh, CRM, uh, customer relations management tool. Okay. Um, so we're able to put our database into that. Now we have email marketing campaigns. Mm -hmm. We're up to date and running regularly our newsletters now. Um, annual client appreciation events and consulting and appreciation events. Okay. So all those strategic projects. So there's one lane. Okay. I know you're going to keep going and we're short on time, but it's like, what do you love most about you, what you do? I mean, oh, it's always I know in, you've front got in there. You totally know me. Put me in front of the people. 
<laughs> so I do still consult. I get let me mold you. Let me impact you and make oh, you yeah. better, please. No, I, I still do consulting. I go out okay. to the clients. I was up at you know two clients this week. I was in Sacramento. I was in Riverside. So I still do the consulting with the clients, mm -hmm. and then I um, work with the consultants because I do do project client projects as well. So mm -hmm. I'll help with you know year long, two year long projects. Um, you know, and we do everything from assessments to succession planning, strategic planning, um, you know, coaching. I still do coaching. So um, it's a variety. I mean, do you have Yeah, something? which is fun. It's great. Do you have a client without, of course, saying who they are, but mm -hmm. do you have kind of a client story of one that's really been one of your kind of personal faves that you feel is just representative of why you love what you do at the center? I just did one this last Can week. You share, that please? was so much fun. So we have a client who does a series of leadership forums, mm -hmm. like four in a year. They picked a theme. Mm -hmm. The theme was communication. And they went out and they're doing four different sessions. And I got to do the kickoff with another partner of mine at work. We went in, uh, flew up. We did uh, what we called a world cafe. You may have heard of it, where they do the you know the shared ideas Never or heard of it. oh world you, cafe uh, I think I, no wine you said we were short on time. Oh, right. So, okay. Let's go back to what it is. so anyways, so you can you can literally Google. It's a, a term, and you can World look it up. Yeah, it's very cool. So we altered it a little bit. But basically, I did two hours of activity stations in a room, 150 oh, people. We had a theme. We uh, did an icebreaker, high energy, lots of discussion. I mean, it was great. I got to lead 150 people through wonderful discussions, great activities. I mean, it was fantastic. You know, I know you love what you do, but I also know because we've we've been friends and colleagues for a long time. What was it like, and we only have a couple minutes left, what was it like to transition from being Susie owner, right, or Deanna 16 owner? 16 years. And now, yeah. it's like you're working for somebody else. Just kind of share, because I think that's a really hard transition is to go from working on your yeah. own to working for somebody yeah. else so yeah. in a serious note right yeah 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 no absolutely for it's these lovely attendees that are listening to yeah us. um i i will be very honest it was a it was a tough transition was it yeah um the first 30 days i would compare it to trying to house train a puppy in that, you know, I was... It's a picture and a visual. I got it. Okay, okay. so let me explain to you what I mean by that. Um, we underestimate the freedom you have as a self-employed consultant mm -hmm. when you set your own schedule, okay? Mm -hmm. And just the immediacy of, on a regular basis, getting up every day, sitting in a commute, showing up at a desk, stay... I mean, it sounds strange, but just the rhythm and the schedule change was really something weird. I can't even imagine. It was really something weird. Yeah. It wasn't, it's not that we don't work hard mm -hmm. or it was just different. It was weird. Now it's no big deal, but that first 30, 45 days physically and mentally was just a really tough shift. Any tips that you would have for others that maybe are thinking about that? Because when the economy is better, mm -hmm. right, people kind of go back to corporate America, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what were some things or techniques that really worked for you to kind of get through that? I mean, I, and I remember a little bit of it. Yeah. Because you know, we're used to being in charge. And thank you, world, I'm unemployable. And this is a good thing. Um, I will <laughs> never. Hopefully have to work for, I mean, it's one of those things yeah. where I go, I couldn't. I, I don't know how then you're reporting to somebody. But I report to our clients and our members. Sure. How, we how, always are accountable to yeah. somebody. How did you get We're always accountable with somebody. Maybe some tips or suggestions. Yeah, you know what? You really have to be aware of your self care. It's mm -hmm. like you know, I know when you're your own boss. It's like sometimes <clears throat> you do the well during the day. I can skip this because later tonight I'll burn the oil and I'll catch up on these projects. Mm -hmm. There is none of that. You know what I mean? Right. You got to use your time a little bit more intelligently. So it was no, I've got to get to bed at a certain time because my alarm will go off because I do have to be out the door at this time and I've got to be accountable and I've got to be fresh, especially because you're walking walking into a new environment, you've got a new team, you've got new projects you need to learn, you've got to start really being on your game and there's a lot to absorb. Right. You get brought into an environment like that because you have a very strong set of skills, you've got talents that they need, but there's still another half of that of that equation where you're learning. You're learning their acronyms, their clients, the their culture. systems, that I mean. culture. So, you know, part of you is like, yeah, I'm the rock star, this is what they need, they hired me for, and the other part of you is the new kid on the block. So there's a lot to really still absorb. There's I'm just a lot. saying you are a rock star. Oh, Anybody that has you. You part of them, thank you. you are a rock star. And I'm yeah. going to say that's a wrap. It's thank like you. We are, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching for another edition of Women Lead TV. Our rock star says goodbye from the Center for Organization Effectiveness. And we'll thank see you, you on the next Women Lead TV show.